Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, if you're new here. Um, hello, this is Cool Cats Mopeds. We are a moped YouTube, I guess you would call it. Um, bit of an update. Uh, it's been a while since I've done an update. Um, we have had a fair bit of progress done actually on the bike. I'm afraid that I'm sorry I haven't been able to show it. Um, that's mostly due to, you know, life ha kind of happened. I got COVID, um, got a baby on the way, so that, that's all exciting stuff. So I just thought I would uh, pop in real quick and give a bit of an update on both bikes and show you what's going on. So we have here is the Malaguti Europino that I've actually done a 110cc engine swap on. Uh, we're still in progress of making motor mounts on it, but however, it's been progressing fairly well the last couple of days. Also, you might have noticed that the gas tank and the front fender is actually a seafoam blue right now. The reason for that is, is that I kind of want to go with a really opposing color to the yellow, and I figured that would really offset it compared to the gray that originally was on the bike. And if you also notice, I've also done a custom seat cover. Now, I will admit, it's not that great of a seat cover. Um, I definitely still need to do a lot of work when it comes to that. Um, the nice thing with that is, is that uh, it doesn't have any of the rips or tears. I just really need to pull it tight and get it all situated. And then I'll have a nice homemade seat. Uh, however, the seat pan actually needs to have a weld fixed on it because at the front where it mounts and slides back and forth so you can adjust the seat comfortability uh it's actually broken both welds and it's only holding on by one at the very back so it kind of bends and flops around and doesn't quite act like the seat should and then i know it's not very great to be able to see it in the frame that i have it in but it's just the best i'm afraid i can do with keeping the camera stable uh, if you notice, up in the upper right hand corner of the video screen, you'll see that the Vespa seat is actually now on the Caddy. Uh, I got that from a very awesome person named Volva. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Uh, he is an awesome person I met through Moped Army, and he was looking for some parts that came off of this Caddy so he could actually restore another one back to original components. So I thought that was more than a fair to uh, give him the whole motor for exchange for the seat, which I'm sure we'll make do with the friendship for, for a very long time. And then if we zoom in here, you can actually spot through the handlebars of the Malaguti, uh, the Zundap Type 249-02 engine is actually in the frame and mounted quite nicely. Uh, I still need to pretty up the gusset I'm using on this side. I plan to grind it and make it shaped a little bit more fancy looking. And we also have the hack and weld exhaust. Not currently bolted onto the bike because it needs to weld up a bracket so it mounts really nicely. However, we also were able to reuse the caddy clutch and use that to move the paddles from the belt. So that way it'll power the power to the rear wheel. And then luckily I should be able to quite comfortably ride this bike um however the dream of it being the dirt bed has quickly disappeared due to how low the engine sits in the frame uh wasn't quite prepared for how low it actually sits so i'm afraid this bike has very quickly turned into a low and slow but as you can see i got tire tubes on the wheels i still need to figure out what type of tires i was going with because i was about to order some dirt dirt uh, tired when I was looking at the bike and then I realized that that's not gonna exactly work for a street bike um, because again the dirt pad dream kind of died with this frame because of how low the engine sit. it sits only a couple inches off the ground when the exhaust is attached so not much clear for actually dirt pad riding now I will admit a lot of people had me had me confused for that I was going to take this off jumps and such, which was never quite the plan. It was more for dirt trail riding, so not quite a full on dirt ped. However, I figured I would still call it a dirt ped because it's for dirt riding and I wasn't planning on riding it on the street, so I wasn't really sure what to call it. So, um, I guess the next video I'll try to do is actually put out a video about how to make a homemade head gasket out of a aluminum can. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I might even show it now in this video. I haven't quite decided. Uh, if not, um, I'll make a little tutorial about how to do that and hopefully other people can use that for their own 
uh, mopeds or two-stroke engines. So I guess for this week's question, I guess I'll ask, if money was not an option, and you had unlimited budget, unlimited time, unlimited everything, what moped would you engine swap with what engines? And it could be anywhere from a Sack Solo engine to like those Moby engines that people have done quad motor setups. Or would you do something like two stroke stuffings and do a nitrous turbo swapped or supercharged engine? Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, nice talking to you and we'll keep it real and see you later.